Hello everyone. Here in this session, I'm going to show you how to create RTF template in BI Publisher. So basically, we are going to do a couple of use cases as part of this session. So far, we have generated the template or we had rebuilt the template. But what I found is showing how to develop RTF template is also very important to all the learners of my course. So first use case that I'm going to show is a very simple use case. So the thing that I'm going to show you here, we will show the data in a tabular format. We'll provide a report name. We will make the table header repeated for each page. We will sort the data. We will show or limit only 10 records per page. We will show no data if query doesn't fetch any data. And your report would look like this. So to do that, first let us get the sample data. Now, how I'm going to get the sample data? So let's log into Fusion environment. And whatever data model we have developed earlier, so I'll just click on edit. I'll select the data model, go to data. I'll select the invoice source as ISP and let the invoice number be all. I will just select more rows. Click on view. Let's take a look at table view. So you can see it would look like this. I will just export the data in order to get the RTF template created at my local. So let me just take that. So I'll just save it here. So this is the first step to create the RTF template in your local system. All right, now let's go to RTF template folder and here is your sample data file. Now let me open the Word, click on the blank document here. So once you install BI Publisher desktop in your system, you will get an option with heading as BI Publisher, right? So Select sample XML and let's take that sample XML from here itself. Data loaded successfully. Now, what I'm going to show is I'm going to use the wizards of the world. Now, this is my table, right? Let me just fill it with some color, right? So, I'll just give some name, let's say invoice number. Then I will give invoice source and then description. Now I'm going to map the fields over here. I'll go to BI Publisher. Now I click on the field here and I will drag and drop the G1 over here. Then I'll put some space, then invoice num, source, and description. So if you see here, G1. So I have to use the for each over here, right? Because I want to iterate. Now click OK. I will just copy this and Paste it over here. I'll give it a name for this. So let's say I will say end G1. And what I'm going to say is end for each. All right. Now let me run this report. So click on PDF here. So I have to save this RTF template. So I will say invoice template so you can see the invoice number is getting printed right 
this is the first step so let me close this so with this we have completed the first step showing the data in tabular format now next step we will provide a report name so let me just provide a report name over here so i'll just go over here i'll go to the middle and say invoice report i will select and make it a title with underline and i'll make it at the middle we'll just put another blank space now let me run it again and there you go so you can see the report has got a name now so let me just minimize the size a little bit let's say i'll make it 16 okay so we are done with the second step providing a report name now if you see the output here in the second page i can't see the header right how do i do that let me select the row right click click on table properties select on repeat as header row at the top of each page click ok save now click on pdf and you can see the header has become small and you can see the table header over here and you can see the header here as well so we are done with repeat table header in each page feature also next we are going to sort the data in descending order for invoice number so let's do that now here we have the invoice number so let's left click twice go to advanced if you see this is just a plain invoice number now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just do the sorting so sort invoice now colon and i'll just set descending i will double click in invoice now and i will paste the sort clause or the function here and i will click ok save this click on pdf and there you go you can see it is sorted now in descending order all right so we are done with the sorting the data with invoice number in descending order now next thing that we are going to do is we just want to restrict showing the 10 records per page rather than what we have now showing the data till the end for every page and then start the records in the next page so do that let's go back to the rtf template and here in the end loop we have to write a xsl element so what we are going to do we are going to use if element where we are going to find the mod value of the position by 10 if it is 0 then break it break the page and start printing from the very next page and that we have to do just when we are ending the for each loop right so let me copy this and just paste it over here just before the end for each click ok now save this and let's click on pdf and you can see now only 10 records are getting printed in each page and it's breaking right now 
you might be having a question what is this position so position is nothing but for every element we have position right so for g1 every g1 we have a position so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so and so forth so when that position let's say the 10th position is divided by or the modular is decided by 10 then we find 0 that does mean we have to move on to the next page so when we have 11 mod 10 we have value as 1 so it will go till 20 then it will become again 0 right so likewise we just find the mod value and then we basically break the page all right now moving to the next one basically when we don't have any data we just have to show no data found rather than showing a blank template so how we are going to do that so for that we are going to use the choose function right so let's see if we don't use it and if we use any blank data template how would it look like so let me just take a look at the sample data so this is the no data xml so let me just load this in the template so sample xml if i select xx demo dm no data right let's see how it looks like so it would look like this you are printing the table but there is no data so user may get confused so instead of that what we are going to do is we are going to print no data found at least they will be aware that there is no data in the template or in the report output rather so how do i do that we have this choose functionality so let's take a look at that so choose when count of invoice number basically if there are no invoices this count will become zero so when we have invoice that means the count is greater than zero it will print otherwise it will print no data found. so what i'm going to do i'm going to just copy one of the element over here all right so let's do that in the template let me copy this and paste it over here let me rename this so i'll just say if df or data found and what i'm going to use here i'm going to use this condition right when count of invoice number greater than zero click ok now here i'm going to use the end if and if and i'm going to just paste the end when so if data is there it will just finish off over here otherwise it will print no data found and then the choose is closed over here so that's it click save and click on pdf so you can see it's showing no data found right and there is no data okay now let me just again load the sample data which has data in the xml all right save generate the pdf and there you go so you can see the data has started printing over the output pdf so that's how we can create the rtf template a very simple version of the template we can create now let's log into fusion environment here you have two options you can just save as sample data all right let me just refresh it because 
has been pending for quite a few moment. Let me go back. Click on edit. Go to data view. Let's click on save as sample data. Now sample data is created. And let me just click on create report. You can see the data model is selected. Select use report editor. Click on finish. So let's give it a name. Let me just say simple R could be XX demo invoice report RTF, let's say could be RTF report. Click OK. Click on this upload button over here. Give it a layout name. Invoice. Template file. I'm going to select from RTF template. And artifacts. Invoice template.rtf. Type RTF template. Local English. I'm going to select United States. Click on upload. All right. So the RTF template is loaded. And let's take a look at the report output as view report output. I'm going to select ISP. So cancel here. I'm going to say something. Click on edit report. When we have parameters, it's always suggested that you uncheck this auto run option. Click OK. If you click on view a list, you can see which all default format you wanted to get your report into. You can select additional report output. Let's say if you want XML, CSV, you can do that. Save now. Click on view report. Select the parameter of invoice source as ISP. Let invoice number be all. Click on apply. All right, so you can see the report output is exactly appearing the way we want it. Let's export it in PDF. So let's save it. Save the output and you can see the report output in PDF format, right? So this is how we have seen it in BI Publisher desktop. And that's how we can generate the RTF template. That's all. Thank you.